Hello. Yes, it's working. It was all working, I promise. And then it went. It disappeared. It went away. Well, there we go. Hello, everybody. Yes, no sound, Vicky. Oh. Anyway, welcome, welcome, everybody. Hello. I'm just going to get on with it because um, I came in here about an, over an hour ago, uh, but had to reply to an email and... I don't know, I shouldn't have tried replying. I should have said, I, you know, I reply another day. But um, anyway, um, I can tell you a bit more about it. It was, I, I basically, I received a rather special email from somebody who um, I've not been in touch with for a very long time. And um, it contained something to surprise my mother. So I've got to be very careful because, you know, my mum could be watching. You know, mum. You're not going to find out till Tuesday. <laughs> it's not a big surprise. Not a big, big, big surprise. Not like last Tuesday. But, you know, I can tell you all about it when I come back. Anyway. Oh, and then I had to book some lessons for my daughter. That's what I've been doing. That's why I'm late, everybody. Okay. So it is the 25th of the month if you hadn't realized i don't think i realized this month is creeping by racing by i should say and um yeah right let's have a look have i got refresh cache yes hello Al aloha from honolulu minda hello hi mary great to see you Oh, let me flick the camera. Uh, hi, Wendy March. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Judy. Hi, Mary. Hi, Monica. Hi, Mary. Mary Jane Larpa. Have I said that correctly? Right, so I'm going to be stamping a wreath on this 12 by 12 piece of card. But before I do that, I'm going to do a little bit of masking. I've still got the stamps I used last night on my table, so some of those may make an appearance. But before I do that, I need to create a mask of this little chubby little birdie here. Um, and I'm hoping this will fit onto... Oh, I don't know what, if I actually stamp it, I may have some more success. Let's see. Right, this little, this little fairy friend. So I want to, I think I want six of these. So if I cut that into, what size is this? Oh, there we go. That's five inches. So if I cut that at five, how does it measure this way? I'll presume that's seven. Right. What do you think? Do you think I can... Ooh, two and a half, two and a half. Ooh, I don't know if it's going to be quite enough. Ooh, okay. I have got a little, little piece here that I could use. So I'm cutting six pieces that are two and a half inch squared because I'm going to pop them all together. I did have a paper clip on this table the other day. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, I can. And the plan is to cut these all out in one go so that I save a bit of time, basically. I don't think I'm going to worry about the the talons, the feet. I'm just going to cut around like this. It is quite hard. Probably, if I had more time, I probably wouldn't be cutting through six layers. I'd recommend maybe cutting through three. But 
in order to save time because the the you know the clock is against me it is 20 past 11 here in the uk and so in 40 minutes time it will now not be the 25th <gasps> and i do not want to get into trouble with the other girls who are doing these challenges so if you don't know oh that's moved but hold on see if i can pull that back so if you don't know much about the christmas stampathon i will tell you about it now it's uh, basically a, a facebook group that you can go and join and every 25th of the month we issue a challenge a paper crafting challenge and it's not obligatory to have to use Stampin' Up! products, although we do ask that you use at least one. Which one? That is up to you. But all of us are Stampin' Up! demonstrators, so um, we will use Stampin' Up! product. And generally, we will use current product as well, because... We don't like to exasperate you too much and not be able to get hold of anything. Birds and then stamp a wreath containing the birds and then be able to cut it up and use it for cards. That is my plan. How'd you cut off my feet? Says Mary Holt. Well, Birdie Mary. Mary is now the voice of my birds. So let's go one there. One there, one there, and then. Oh, I hope this is going to work out. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to work out. I'm sure it will. I'm sure. Right. I've not even picked out any colours yet. Um, I do have some nice branch, a nice branch for them to sit on. But it is at a funny angle. I think, I think I'm just going to wing it. Or I should just do lots of leafage, foliage, hope for the best. Sorry, I'm just thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. in my other colours. Got all five. I can't find Granny Apple Green. I've got the bright greens. I can't find the other one. It might be that I just haven't brought it back in here. Okay, let's go with a bit of wild wheat. Ooh, a little bit of lost lagoon as well. Okay, we'll figure this out. We'll get there. Um, right, leafage. Leafage, leafage. Um, all right. So I want to have some sort of image that kind of fills a lot of the space, but not it's not too dark. So I'm going to go with that one just to get a bit of colour down. So this, I've grabbed out soft sea foam. Oh, 
Hi, Deborah. Hi, Carla. You just went to the Christmas challenge page. Awesome. I will pop a link eventually. You see, now stamping this way, one has to be careful that. Um... Oh, I forgot to put the. <coughs> After all that, were you shouting at me, you guys? Were you shouting at me? Um, I forgot to pop the the mask on. I was thinking, I'm going to get foliage on these um, birds here. Silly me. Oh, Esther's wreath was gorgeous. How are you, Minda? It's nice to see you. Hi, Mindy. Hi, Carla. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> Wing it. <laughs> I was wondering what was happening. Me too. I mean, you know. I'm the one supposed to be running the show. Judy. <laughs> Good morning, Heidi. <laughs> right, one more to go. It's going to be worth it, I promise, because uh, it will it will save me having to worry about where I am stamping the foliage if I've got the these on there. Just can be a little tricky to. Little tricky to pull apart. There we go. Ah, oh, this is going to make my life so much easier. Right. Haven't got to worry so much now. I can really, I'm going to almost stamp on here, ignoring the birds, if that makes sense. Because I just want to create a pretty. Wreath. Now this wreath is going to get cut up. I'm just, you know, I'm doing the whole trigger warning now. This is going to be um, cut and used up to make cards. I know some of you don't like it when I do that, but I'm sorry. It's got to happen. All right, that will do for that one. Um, quite like this sending smiles, this one here. Oh, actually, I liked what Esther did with this stamp. She used it on a green, didn't she? That was really fun. Um, Let's do a bit of Lost Lagoon. I hadn't thought of using this as a foliage yesterday when I was using it. I don't think I did anyway. Hi, Melly. But Ruth, we were wondering what that meant and I thought it meant that you could do cards that had a whole wreath on it or make one big wreath so Esther left it whole yeah um 
I guess if you make cards from one big wreath, it, it just means you've got a partial. Yep. Yes, it's up to you. Because it's it is a card that features a wreath, it just features part of a wreath. <laughs> You know, we try to make things easy for you guys so you don't have to scratch your heads too hard. Because if we do two prescriptive um, challenges, sometimes it's a bit trickier. So. But if you want to set that rule for yourself, that's up to you. Oh, good for you, Vicky. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> oh, yeah, Deborah, I get it. <laughs> that is hard. Hi Lisa. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Lynn. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, you could. As long as it's Christmassy. Right, I think that's pretty, but I don't know whether to add more or to... Do same colour but different foliage, like this one. Should we go for this one? Oh, I like that one going in. It's lovely. Makes it very wispy, doesn't it?
Now I do want to add something red into here at some point, but I'm not sure, not sure what or where or whatever just yet. Maybe some red, little red flowers or something. Hi, Carolee! Yay! Ooh, a red bird! Oh, does that mean I have to do some colouring? Can I just do, like, you know, sponge it on? Or, you know, with a blender, brush, <laughs> blending brush. Flowers from Season of Chic might be nice and red. Oh, I know which ones you mean. Yeah, they'd be nice and red. The only thing is they're probably a little big. That's the only thing I'm thinking. What about these? Now I know it's not strictly red, but I'm wondering whether to go like a Cajun craze because I, I like these kind of like rustic colours that I've got going on here. Ooh, or copper clay. Oh, she just used, yeah, textured flower. Oh, she used the pot, yeah, that little one. Yeah, I was thinking of using that for the centre of this one. Oh, this is quite juicy.
sorry i'm concentrating very hard everybody <laughs> I'm, I'm got a bit quiet sorry Oh yes, how is your um, hand tidy? Or a deep brown early espresso bread with a blur bird with a red breast. I will certainly try and do a bit of colouring. I might not do it on all of them, but I'll do it on some. Okay, I quite like that. So that was in copper clay. Go grab the old cherry cobbler. Love a bit of the old cobbler. And um, put the pom pom flower, as Esther calls it, in there. Ooh, what's that? Ooh. Weird square thing. Okay. So I'm using these as kind of my centres. <laughs> that sounds lovely. <gasps> Janine, you're back. Hi, Carolee. Oh, sorry, I said hello to Carolee already. Hi, Judy. All right, I think I'm done with that. I'm just going to quickly Google Rob a Robin. I mean, you'd think I would know what a Robin looks like, but I just need, you know, when your brain has a bit of a moment. Right, Pinterest. Robin Art. Let's have a look. Hi, Tashana. Hi, Annie. Hi, Anne and Annie. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have a red breast there, white there, and brown at the top. Okay. Right, if this doesn't peel off nicely, I was going to give it a little bit of heat. No, it does. All good, all good. Oh, what happened to Valerie? Oh, you had your root canal. Ouch. All right, when you take the masking paper off, if you if you can hear or see at any point the paper start to te tear what's underneath then just stop and get your heat tool out and use your heat tool to apply a little bit of warmth and it will help pull it off without damaging your paper underneath
Are you over your jet lag, Janine? Oh, shabby chic was good. Yes, I am trying to schedule some more, Janine. So don't you worry. Right, I've got a bit of soft suede here. Oh, where's my, where's my picture? Right, I still need to see what I'm... Right, so... The... Head was brown and the tail. So that was oh, dark soft suede. I wonder if it came out really dark. I was thinking that's a bit dark. All right, I'm going to go in with a bit of light soft suede now. Just to soften the whole thing. And then I want some nice red for this, what's this section here maybe. Ooh, that's bright. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't mean him to be that bright. Light cherry cobbler. Um what's this? Dark real red. I think I need to get some more markers. Light Poppy Parade. All oh, right, okay, that might be a bit better. A bit of texture. Oh, and up here too. I think I need to take Wendy's colouring class. Who's done Wendy's colouring class? I lost the outline of the wing the wing there so I'm just putting some more lines in just so that I can actually see right there we go. That's the idea. Right, let's see if I can colour this one in a bit better. I'm just going to do this one, I'm um, sorry, these two, because um, otherwise I'm going to be here far too late. And I'm following the guidelines of the artist who drew this in terms of like where I put this darker pen. 
So that's dark soft suede. I'm just going to sweep in the light now. A little bit more of the dark. Right, so light poppy parade. Uh, pop that in. My mask didn't quite go up to the edge. I've let some ink in really where I shouldn't have. So this is now light cherry cobbler and I'm just using this to darken up his beard. <laughs> He's like the opposite of Santa, isn't he? He's got like a red beard, it's like a white beard. Oh no, that just looks weird. Get rid of that. didn't like it right um, and then do I get crumb cake I think I'm just gonna try using this is dark crumb cake crumb cake for the little bit of on his breast there just to add a bit of color all right sorry I'm missing comments oh see you Deborah take care Yes, Wendy does do it. She's got one coming up actually at the beginning of June. Yeah, if you go to f her Facebook, Woo's Creations, she, um, I don't know if it's stamping, like stamping blends focused. I don't know. If, if you, I don't, I, yeah, maybe fire off her a message and see. Oh, Robin's a red breasted with brown on top. Must be different. Uh, red breasted with brown on top. Yeah, that's that's got brown on top, I think. I'm going by Pinterest. <laughs> right. So I'm going to cut this up into, I'm just going to do it six, uh, four by six to start off with. Oh, I probably should do that and do a screenshot later. There we go. Just to prove I did do a wreath. If I did the birdies in 3D. Ooh, what, have them lifted up? That would be nice. Yeah, have them separate. Okay, I'm just going to cut this into, uh, at four inches, just to see what happens. Because it could be that I decide that, um, oh, you see, I'm actually going to move that to 10 centimetres, because I want a little bit more of the... Yeah. Right, so ten centimeters is the width of the of an, any kind of card that I'd be. Well, ten and a half is actually the width, but I'm cutting this as if I was going to be sticking this onto a card base. And if I cut that there, that is perfect for a card. I'm just going to grab a card base so you can see what I mean. There you have it. Okay, and then this one, I'm going to cut that a little bit off because I don't need that. So that would sit, sit 
I like that. That's cute. So this one's got the robin sitting at the bottom right hand corner. So I like how we just end up with robins at different different places really. Now this one's got a bit of a boo-boo down there. Might have to scratch that off. Or I could have a leaf coming further down I guess. What's the time? I have one more minute left. Well, technically I've made four. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I'm um, just looking at a picture of a robin. Yeah, um, mm, I probably could do, put more brown on my robin actually. Yeah, you are quite right. Let's try colouring in another one. Yeah, so on some there, they are quite brown from here. Here down. Okay, a little bit more darker brown on there. So by putting the lighter colour on first, you're kind of building up the colour. Oh, so the red, most red-breasted ones that we see, they're the males. Oh, today I managed to video a peacock out with its feathers on display. So I went up to Paris Castle today to have another look at the Cape Facet exhibition with my friend. And just so happened we were there. And the peacock was really showing off today. Not quite sure what who, but it seemed to keep facing a wall. <laughs> so, uh, yes, a lot of that female, you're right, Heidi, in the females in the animal kingdom are very dull in colour, but we're not, are we? Quite the opposite, in fact. This is an artistic robin. Can I just point that out? <laughs> Okay, so there we go. I've finished three 
coloured three of them in at various degrees. Oh yeah, no, I do prefer that one. I think I'll just cover these ones in a bit more. I don't think I like the white. Glad you got back, Caucasians. How is your son doing? It's white without being white. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, my lovelies. I'm going to love you and leave you because um, I've got a busy day again tomorrow. So, um, and I need to make sure I'm ready for the weekend. So, thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I'm going to go and share this now on the um, Christmas Stampathon. Oh. Just share that link on there i'll probably take better pictures tomorrow so there you go but yes yeah, so the challenge this month or the, the from this day onwards is to create a wreath and either make four cards or make a piece of home decor for your house so you could do punch out paper you could stamp it like esther did yeah so the idea is just the wreath a wreath should inspire you you know, it might you might decide or you want to do like a door with a tiny little wreath on it. That's fine, as long as it features a wreath. So there we go. Get your, Go and get your thinking caps on. And so uh, get your entries in by the 24th of the month, uh, next month. All right. Oh, I bet he is, Shaz. Yeah, I bet. Right, lovely to see you all. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your company and all your input. And I hope I've not missed any questions. Have I missed any questions? Have I missed anything? I don't think I have. And lovely to see you back as well, Ginny. Oh, excuse me. Right. Lots of love. Take care, everyone.